and he knows exactly how to pace himself. Five more to come through that 6.1 stage. Still, Elofsson of Sweden, who has the lead from Delhi. Repo in third. Fredriksson making it two Swedes in the top five. Magnus Ingerson making it three Swedes in the top seven. What a transformation. Christian Scheldahl down in 13th place. Uh, not the most impressive. Thomas Allsgaard, World Cup winner from last year. Down in 19th at the moment. Now, this is the number we're looking for. 93, Mika Mulilla. Leading at 1.8. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see. Can he match the pace of uh, Elofsson, who looked to be going so well indeed, taking five seconds off Bjorn Dele. And 15.08 is the time. Mulilla, he started too fast. He's already losing out to uh, the two leaders. And it's Elofsson of Sweden who has the advantage. Bjorn Daly in second at 6.1. And Mulilla, who was leading in the early stages, has dropped down to third. So it's going to take uh, an enormous effort from Mulilla over the uh, six to eight kilometer stage, the final hill in this race, if he wants to win in front of his home crowd. Elof Sonnel, though, will have uh, certainly scented that uh, something special is happening. He'll know that uh, he now has the best opportunity he's ever had to win a World Cup. And uh, what an opener to the season that would be. Thomas Allsgaard, 25-01, uh, gets uh, an appreciative cheer from the crowd, and quite rightly so, the former, well, the World Cup winner and uh, Olympic champion, but uh, it's not going to be his day. So, Bjorn Daly, this is uh, where the race has been won and lost. Daly's done all the work, he's closing in on the finishing marker of this 10 kilometer race second place at uh, 6.1 he was in third at uh, 1.8 has daily managed to do enough to move one more step up the ladder is he going to take his 42nd world cup win or will the man chasing him hot on his heels per olafsson he seems so composed for a young man he's uh, Got the perfect start number right behind his main rival. And Elofsson looks to be the likely victor of these two. Very tight indeed. 4.6 seconds was the margin at the 6.1 kilometer stage. And with just 100 meters or so to go, Daly has no more time to do the work. Well, he's in front, but he knows what he's got to do. 23.45, and as usual, Daly looks a little unsteady on the downhill sections. 23.50, they're going to be so far inside the leading time, it's almost unbelievable. Just over the 24-minute mark for Bjorn Daly, but uh, it's seconds that count, it's not minutes. 24.04, the new leading time for Bjorn Daly has sat the crowd now turn their heads to Perlofsson. He's picked up time, he's picked up more time. This is phenomenal. The victor here in Modio, 23.48. He's taken a huge margin over the multi-Olympic champion. Perlofsson doesn't even afford himself a smile. Does he know that he is the likely winner here in the first World Cup of the season? A brilliant performance. A new star is born for Sweden. And let's hope that brings the whole nation back up to the top of the cross-country world. What a phenomenon. So, Herlofsson uh, with a stylish finish. He doesn't need it. He's so far ahead of Bjorn Daly, it's almost unbelievable. Well, taking full advantage of his start number. Last year, they told us that uh, he was going to be their new man, he was going to be the new Gundus Farn, and that puts a lot of responsibility on anyone's shoulders. But, uh, well, is he going to take the crown away from Bjorn Daly? Daly denied his 42nd win. Elefsen getting his first. Well, uh, I hope I'm not jumping the gun. We still have one main player out on the course, Mika Mulilla, who was in third place after the uh, last checkpoint. But uh, Elofsson has really accelerated from uh, 1.8 all the way to the 10-kilometer stage. 
and uh, ended with a good margin. That's the margin at 6.1. Melilla, 25 seconds down. I can't see him closing that. Matthias Fredriksson of Sweden coming in, 23.46 is the time at the moment, so he's uh, missed out on top place and he's uh, not going to catch Bjorn Deli either, he's got another 30 seconds or so to go, but uh, we'll be looking for a top 15, he was uh, in the top 15 certainly at the 6.1km uh, stage and uh, three Swedes all in the top seven, so uh, they're having a good day, there is no doubt about that and... Uh, Magna Dahlen, the new Swedish coach, will take an enormous pat on the back. Looking through the stats just to see when the Swedes last won, but uh, it's so long ago, I don't think it's even in the book. Matthias Fredriksson, 24-25, and, uh, well, he's going to be just inside Sami Repo of Finland to take... Uh, fourth place in fact he misses that by point one so fourth place then for Fredriksson ahead of his teammate Ingerson but uh, that really is an impressive bunching of Swedes is this a sign of things to come or have they focused their training on these first World Cups there's little doubt that uh, the uh, highly critical press in Sweden will uh, have to change their tack now and uh, the funds will uh, no doubt start pouring in they realize that uh, they're back with a vengeance. The days of Svan and Vazberg are about to be relived. Per Olofsson leads the way for Sweden as Ari Isemetsa comes in for his final 100-meter uh, sprint to the finish line, 24-19. He's uh, way down outside the leader's time. 23-48 is Olofsson's time, so uh, Isometsa is going to be around a minute behind, but still a top five finish on the cards. 24-39.9 for the Finn, and fifth place at the moment.